Most popular note series from Xiaomi is back. Hello guys Ali is here of 5M Tech and join me in this full review of the Note 13. And let's find out why Xiaomi is calling this base model bound to be iconic. Let's start with the Redmi Note 13S refresh design. At the rear its triple camera module gets simpler, with the lenses now placed directly above the glass like panel. What I like in this new design is how they made the camera layout symmetrical making it more aesthetically pleasing to the eyes. It even gets complemented with the Redmi moniker and the teak sprints perfectly align with the lenses. The glass finish though is reflective and is a fingerprint magnet, our unit is in the midnight black hallway so it's easier to spot the smudges as the light hits the surface. Thankfully Redmi is generous enough to include a unibody silicon in the box which I prefer using because of the ad protection it brings. Speaking of protection, this phone is only IP54 rated for splash and dust resistance, it gets a flat frame. And despite its large size, it fits comfortably in my hands thanks to its rounded corners. For iOS, the power button and the volume rocker are on the right side. This leaves the left side clean, while at the top you'll see a speaker grill, a 3.5 meters M headphone jack, which is good to have. It has the iconic IR blaster beside the microphone, and at the bottom is another speaker grill along with a USB port in the hybrid SIM tray. Flipping at the front is the crisp 6.67 inches AMOLED display that runs up to 120 Hz refresh rate using it outdoors won't be a problem as it can reach up to 1,800 nit peak brightness. There's also a Corning Gorilla Glass 3 on the top for added layer of protection not to mention the phone also comes with a pre-installed screen protector. Up top is a hole punch notch and the display supports and screen fingerprint sensor. In my experience, it unlocks the phone fast enough with a split second delay also compared to its predecessor the Redmi Note 12 and the Note 13 gets thinner bezels especially at the chin. Which brings me to an even more immersive viewing experience, adding to that is a dual stereo speaker and surprisingly it has Dolby Atmos per richer audio quality which means it will be able to play high definition full HD and even 4K streaming content if the device display supports such resolutions. Every shot is bound to be iconic, thanks to its triple rear camera system boosting a 108 megapixel main sensor that's complemented with an 8 megapixel ultra wide and 2 megapixel macro. Photos have rich dynamic range and good clarity to them. Color reproduction is great with slight leaning to cool tones. In normal photo mode, it captures good videos cap at 1080p and 30 frames per second and supports some form of electronic stabilization that goes the same for the selfie camera, but without stabilization overall in terms of camera capabilities, this looks to be a great contender for your casual social media sharing. Software-wise, I was expecting it to run Xiaomi's latest Hyper OS. To my surprise, it's still running MIUI 14 instead, which is based on Android 13. As expected, there are bloatware pre-installed as I boot up the device for the first time, but these can be easily uninstalled if I wanted to. In terms of performance, the Redmi Note 13 absolutely delivers under the hood is a reliable Snapdragon 685 chipset configured with spacious memory at 12GB RAM and app storage at 256GB. So what do you think of the Redmi Note 13 is? It's feature set enough to give it an iconic impression, share thoughts below. Don't forget to subscribe the channel for the latest tech news and reviews. Once again, this has been Ali, and I'll catch you in the next one.